Let's talk about how Doc can help improve your sales order form process. It amazes me how many companies are using some combination of Google Docs, spreadsheets, clunky CPQ systems to basically create order forms and get deals across the finish line. It, it leads to a lot of errors from the sales reps and a clunky buyer experience. We've built a much better way with Doc and I'm excited to give you a demo today. So Doc makes it super easy for you to share a pricing quote with a customer before they're ready to sign. So here's an example showing a simple per unit price combined with a one-time implementation. And you can see that the customer has two options that they can toggle through, a simple monthly plan or an annual plan with both a reoccurring fee and a one-time implementation. Now, the great thing about Doc is you can actually take a pricing quote and really easily turn it into an order form. And so this is what our order form builder looks like. And so basically the sales rep goes through these six different steps and it builds an order form um, that they can send out for, for signature. And so on the first page, they basically just add in all the background information about the deal. Uh, on the second page, here's where they can actually build the different product tables. And so let's say I want to change, you know, this line item from 10 users to uh, 50 users. That's really easy for me to do. Um, and let's say I also want to add a 25% discount because they're buying so many seats. As you can see, it's all really easy and streamlined for me as a sales rep to come in here and update my pricing quote. I also can't mess things up because everything is controlled by the admin. So I actually can't change the price per unit or things like that. All of that is set by an admin on the back end. On the next tab, we have the different terms. You can set the contract length. Let's say we want to do a two-year contract length. You can set the start and end dates, billing start dates, billing terms. All this stuff is controlled by an admin, so you can kind of customize it to your own um, you know, order form process. Um, as I make all these different changes, it's actually updating the order form. So you can see as I added the billing schedule or hide and show it, the billing schedule will, will show here. And so I can distinguish between, okay, the one-time fees versus the annual reoccurring fees. And so it makes it really easy to build an order form that you can send out for signature. On the next step, you have your legal step where you can have preset documents, but you can also upload custom agreements that are sent out for red lines or add in any additional terms that you want. All of the legal agreements get attached to the end of the order form. The next step is where you actually set the signing order reminders. And then on the final step, you can review the PDF and actually send it out for signature. Now, the signing process is super easy for your buyers. They basically get sent an email, get directed to this page where they can view the order form. They'll select sign the quote. We've partnered with Dropbox Sign to make the signing experience super easy um, and also legally binding. So they just come in here, add in their signature, and you're off to the races. Um, and so you don't need tons of different DocuSign licenses to get started with Doc. We'll handle all of that for you. Now, the best part about Doc from a RevOps perspective is everything that you just saw is controlled by the revenue operations team. And so we have a product library in the background where you can basically organize all your different product offerings. We have an area where you can organize all the different terms um, that go into an order form. And then lastly, we have a, a legal area where you can, can kind of control the different documents that you want attached to the order form. Now, Doc is built to handle four different pricing models, flat fee per unit, volume and tier based pricing we can handle probably 90 percent of the different pricing uh, setups that are out there in the world here is an example of a tiered based pricing model so you can see here you the admin basically sets up the different tiers that are associated with this product in the background and then as the sales rep comes in it'll update all the different pricing based off that different tier we also support both tiered and volume based pricing and so doc can support most of these different complex uh, pricing setups that companies have especially when it comes to usage based pricing all of this can also be turned and turned into an order form like i showed you earlier now, what makes Doc really special is that pricing can also be shared within the context of a digital sales room. And so, um, you know, you can have all the different parts of your buying process, um, you know, from your product information to case studies, to pricing information, to security, to implementation, all living in one place. So we're super excited to have uh, you get started with our order form product. Uh, to get started, go to doc.us. Thanks so much.